Ah, uh, is it that time again? You know it, it's time to be unproductive. And there's no other better way of being unproductive than watching TV. Everyone wants my Dunkachino. Can't get enough of my Dunkachino. You don't decontaminate. What are you even trying to say? Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Wow, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show! Oh my goodness! I remember watching this as a kid! Oh my gosh, that show really, really sucks. Now, of course, I absolutely love the show, but it, it's mainly for nostalgic reasons. I remember tuning on the television and watching the show on the TV back in the 1980s. That's right, I was around during the 80s. This show consisted of the animated cartoon of the Mario Brothers and gang, along with a live-action section with the Mario Brothers and, usually, a guest celebrity. Not many of these celebrities are known nowadays. In fact, I've always wanted to be featured in a Mario Bros. show episode. But Nintendo hasn't responded to any of the many letters I've sent them. Nintendo, if you're watching, please check the spam folder of your mailbox. My letters are probably there. But anyways, I'll run through a few of the more popular celebrity guests from the show. Gary Owens, a zany voice actor. Shabadoo, a professional breakdancer. Nicole Eggert, who played Jamie Powell in Charles in Charge. Courtney Gibbs, who won Miss USA in 1988. Ernie Hudson, who played Winston Zeddemore in Ghostbusters. Jim Long, a popular radio show host. And Vanna White, the woman from Wheel of Fortune. And, of course, let's not forget about Mario, played by Lou Albano, a professional wrestler, and Luigi, played by Danny Wells, a professional character and voice actor. These two are always up to wacky shenanigans, like Mario thinking he's a dog, or Luigi thinking he's a game show host, or Mario thinking he's a bird. Pfft, man, these guys never know who they are. But one thing has been certainly known between each other, that they are lovers. Mario. I love you. It is a great honor that I hereby convey to you by virtue of the power invested to me by the Grand Lord of the Plumbers, I now pronounce you. What the are you talking about? Okay, okay, enough silly jokes. <coughs> These two fellows are the very foundation of the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. They're the first thing many people think of when they recall the show. And this is especially helped through the intro. Speaking of the intro, this piece, in my opinion, is very well done. It catches the essence of adventure and energy and zaniness of the brothers. I would know the lyrics by heart if I knew what the lyrics even were. What I mean by this is that it's fairly unclear what a few of these lyrics actually are. For example, when they say, do you hear to the brink or to the bridge? I hear brink. Another is, do you hear join the action or come in at ya? I hear join the action. Going through the captions in Netflix and through websites that state the lyrics, there are some points where it says one thing, but some points that say another. But surprisingly, most cases are not in favor of the lyrics that I thought were true all this time. And so are a few untrustworthy fellas. Let me know what you think about the lyrics. Seriously. I will fight over this. But one thing that's surely wrong about the show are the animation errors. It is impossible to watch even an episode of the show without spotting some form of an animation or continuity error. There are a lot. Like, a lot. I, I think you all get the point. Obviously, I'm not going to find and record every error and make it into its own video. I have better things to waste my long nights on. But I'm going to show you a few highlights of the crappiness of the show. First up are the dialogue errors, where what was said does not match up with what you see. <gasps> Good thing we used the extra point for this Koopa Catcher, huh, Mount? Boss, if we finished counting the gold coins, we stole from Fort Hard Knox. Not just really great, Sonny. And sometimes people's mouths won't even move at all. Next, there are plenty of examples of wrong coloring in the drawing of the characters, like here and here and here and here and here and there. And last, I'm going to show you some of my favorite mess-ups. 
Here, King Koopa kicks a giant stalactite to make a bridge across the gap, and when it cuts the sea's reaction, the stalactite is still there, up and standing. In another episode, Mario breaks the ceiling to crush these Koopas, and when they get crushed, but they don't even get crushed, they're still standing there in the same pose behind the bricks. And last, but definitely not least, here Mario catches Wand and... You know what, I'll just let you watch the rest. <laughs> so those were some of the errors in the creation of the animated series, but just mind you, I only showed you 15 of the 639 errors in the show. So, if you want to find more errors, go to the Mario Show section of the Mario Wiki. There, in each episode, it shows the animation errors if you want to check it out. So, that was the Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Although it doesn't really have the same appeal to me as current shows, I still consider it one of my favorite shows. Easily my top ten. I put it... I'm not really sure, but it's still a lovable show nonetheless. Even though they obviously did not put much effort into the show, you have to remember that this is a show aimed for small children. No wonder it appeals so much to me. Nevertheless, with celebrity guests and references to popular shows, it can still appeal to older audiences. This show, believe it or not, was made only referencing Super Mario Bros. 1 and 2. So this show set the face of the Mario Bros. series for people and made it so... Iconic. It's also what many of the core ideas of future Mario games were built off of. For example, this is the first ever time when Luigi was portrayed as being the frightened and cautious type, and now there are entire games about Luigi being scared. I also like to think the name for Mario Odyssey came from this name of an episode. That'd be pretty cool. And about the animation errors. They're definitely not praiseworthy, but it's what was to be expected. When The Simpsons started around the same time, they were still prone to having mishaps here and there, and even if it wasn't to as much of an extent compared to The Mario Show as it was made with a higher budget, it's just what was to be expected during that era of animation. So that was about everything about the show that I wanted to talk about, and why it was such a bad show. Or why it was such a good show. You know, the, the, I, I didn't really keep track very much, but either way, I hope you had a great time, and until next time, do the Mario. the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go! Do the Mario! Take one step, and then again, let's do the Mario! All together now! You got it! It's the Mario! Do the Mario! Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go! Do the Mario! Take one step, and then again, let's do the Mario! All together now! Come on now, just...